My, that's why my license plate, plate says bunny nut, because I'm actually a bunny nut. You know, I'm, I'm crazy about the bunnies. It's just, um, they're really special. They're really special. This house is one of several places in Southern California that also doubles as a rabbit rescue home. This is my safe haven, my bunny safe haven. I've been uh, involved with bunnies since 1991, actually been involved with rescue for the last four years. And this is my group. I have about 10 bunnies in here that, actually 15 bunnies in the room, but 10 are for adoption through the Bunny Bunch. Meet Jenna Sisler, a volunteer foster mom with the Bunny Bunch, a nonprofit group that rescues and places for adoption all types of bunnies. The goal of the organization is to find permanent safe homes for these bunnies. Inside homes are the best environment for them. It's a safe environment. There's too much to worry about with bunnies being housed outside. And as you can see, they, uh, they have a nice little safe haven in here. Bunnies really do like finer things in life. They don't like to necessarily be caged up in a cage. You know, it's just not a good environment for them. They need a lot of exercise. And in a setup like this, it really gives them a lot of room to roam and you could put toys and they, they love to play with toys. They need a, like at least about four to five hours of exercise a day. So that's one major thing to take into consideration when you have a bunny. Jenna says it's amazing. Many of her rescued bunnies are just found wandering alone. A lot of bunnies are just let loose in either parks or neighborhoods, and that's how I've come across adopting some of my own or rescuing some of my own is, is they've been running loose in a neighborhood, being chased by a dog or a cat. But people think that wild rabbits live outside, so it's bunny, so they could let it outside. Well, it's a domestic pet, and it's not meant to be running loose in the neighborhood. There's too many predators out there. The bunny can be killed by a dog or a cat, a hawk. At nighttime, there's raccoons and owls and coyotes. And not only that, a bunny can just go into shock and die from shock just by the mere presence of a predator. And once Jenna and the other volunteers rescue a rabbit, they make sure the animal is given a medical checkup, is spayed or neutered, and then offered to a responsible family for adoption. People come in and wanting to buy a bunny for their child. That's not the reason to buy a bunny. It's got to be a family commitment, something that's well thought out by the whole family, and then the parents really have to be the the sole caretaker. I mean, the children can help too, but they, they shouldn't depend on the children to take care of the bunny, and a lot of times that's the case. Jenna and the rest of the Bunny Bunch volunteers are truly compassionate animal rescuers who have a passion for rabbits. Oh, it's more, it, it's definitely a passion, and it's more than a passion. I do, I do love them. They're, they're just, they're almost like magical to me, you know. Um, I come home from a stressful day, I come in here and it's just like I feel the stress just lifting out of my body. And their love is unconditional. They're just amazing little, little pets. Now, you know, people think, oh, you know, what's so special about a bunny? You can't really, you know, play with it and everything. Well, that's not true. There's some bunnies that do, that will play. Um, uh, you know, I'll roll the ball to them and they'll toss it aside, you know, and it's, it's, it's just very cute. But, um, yeah, we're, we're a special group as bunny people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, my, that's why my license plate, plate says bunny nut, because I'm actually a bunny nut. You know, I'm, I'm crazy about the bunnies. It's just, um, they're really special. They're really special.